and welcome to another exciting video. In this one, we'll be learning how we can make use of JavaScript spread operator to apply style objects returned from CSS in JS mixins. So whenever we are defining CSS in JS style to use JavaScript object notation, mixins can no longer return strings as they can't be added to the object. So in this lesson, we will convert the box shadow and button size mixins that return strings to return objects instead and spread those objects into the style object we are applying to an HTML element. Now over here in the previous lecture you saw that we made use of this object and using that we have applied the styling to this button which is saying CSS in JS button. Now we still need to specify these two mixins. Now how we will be able to do that is the question and to resolve it we will be making use of the spread operator so here let's copy this together and we'll be going over here in our btn css js and what we'll do is we'll simply paste it over here for the moment now obviously it's throwing error so we need to resolve it now to make use of this we'll have to apply the spread operator to this function and that will be done using three dots so here I have written it in this way. Let's remove these semicolon and curly bracket. So this is the button size, but over here we have defined it as button size mixin. So we'll say button size mixin. And same goes for box shadow mixin. So instead of this dollar box shadow, what I will do is we'll have this box shadow mixin with these three dots together. And here we'll need to provide the comma and we'll get rid of the curly bracket. So this is showing that we have the button size mixin now and box shadow mixin now and these are applied using the spread operator. So the functionality of the spread operator is that it concatenates everything and kind of puts that over here wherever it's called. So now let's save this and see it in action. Here you can see that the styling is now applied. The shadow effect is also coming in. Now if I go ahead and inspect this You'll notice that the color, background, padding, box shadow, all these are coming up over here. As you can see, this is the styling that is being applied, BTN CSS JS. Now let's go ahead and see what exactly we have done for these mixins. So in our mixins.js file, we will be comparing these two versions. So button size was the earlier version, and now we have button mixin. So till this point, everything remains the same, like wherever we are passing the parameter and mapping it that remains the same but the moment you see this portion where it is actually preparing the css that changes here we have the object notation now so we are starting with a bracket and a curly bracket that's parenthesis and within that if you notice these three parameters so the font size was earlier mentioned as font dash size over here we have removed that and now we are making use of font size and then we have this border radius. So you will notice border dash radius. Over here it's border radius with a capital R. And for padding, we are using the same string literal. So string interpolation is being used over here. And here we are saying padding Y and padding X. That remains the same, but it is now encapsulated within these little symbols. So that's what exactly has changed over here. Not much, but still you need to make sure that these valid changes are in place. Similarly, if you compare the box shadow one over here, so here we have applied the spread operator and you'll notice instead of this dollar symbol, we are just using the variable shadows over here. And again, this bracket and curly bracket is there to convert it as an object. And once this is done, it is being returned. And over here, we are using the rest operator. And finally, this style is applied on this button and you're able to see it in action. So that's how we can make use of spread operators to apply style objects returned from CSS in JS mixins.